She says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. your life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound <sighs> fine two times then the sinkhole and just now <sighs> hey let me see that <sighs> leave it it's nothing hey I'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Let me see. Oh. Oh. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? North Pole? That old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah. Like this war. The old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. You think people actually live like this? What's... <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. It's about time. What took you? That bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these bodies. Over here.
Oh, this is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. What the hell's that? Nothing. <laughs> Something my ma used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> All gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Uh, can't hold this forever, Bo! That's 
That's all I got. You're on your own now. Hey, we still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait. <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit. <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. would know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight. shooting traveler yeah I had some practice I'll bet but don't worry the words as safe a place as any safer so it's really real food and water and folks living with some old white guy <sighs> more or less 
Whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. I'm fine, I... Cass, ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to the ward, and quick. Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to Ward 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. You know, <laughs> it, it's strange how quiet it is here some days. Like, nothing's going on. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have authority over me. On this, I do. This town needs you. You can't go wandering off after something that... that might not even exist. Oh, that's rich. What have you been doing the last hundred years then, huh? What the hell are you doing right now? Well, that's different. I'm trying to fix things. Things that you broke when you tried to play God. That was Harsgard. I was just following orders. I didn't... Oh, and that makes it okay? You know how many people died because you just followed orders? Of course I know. You think I don't remember that every goddamn day? I'm trying to make things right here. So am I. You're such a damned hypocrite, Ford. If I leave, it's my fault. But you? You didn't break the world. You didn't run after a pipe dream. You didn't abandon your family a dozen times over. <sighs> Look, I've made a lot of mistakes. I admit that. But it's because of those mistakes that I'm telling you not to do the same thing. 
Well, forgive me if I don't want to take advice from the men who fucked up the world in the first place. I'm not your dreamer anymore. Maybe I've got my own mission. These people need you, Clementine. You're too important to just... Every person out there is capable of taking care of themselves. This isn't about them. It's about you. You've always run away from your problems, but you won't let me run toward something. What are you so goddamned afraid of? Of losing you. Losing them. Losing everything. I've already lost everything. You took it from me. You, Neville. Hard card. The whole goddamned project. <laughs> I don't belong here. I never did. I'm tired of pretending I do. Look. Uh, you put yourself through a lot today. You're tired. Get some rest. Huh? Things will feel better tomorrow. <laughs> you know how I... You know I used to look up to you. The way you seemed strong enough to save the world. Except I've already saved it, haven't I? And what have you done? I... <sighs> I can't let you go near that place, Clementine. That's an order. You haven't learned a damned thing, Ford. Out of my way. Whoa. What have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes. Uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Ah, uh, Not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Not quite. Clementine spent a long time away, keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. 
He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him, ran security when he got old enough, did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does, and we're damn thankful. All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. Rabbit's got to polish his stuff more. Can he shoot straight? I see you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. Of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Goodbye, traveler. Maybe you just need to go see Riggs. He can probably well, help ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't no, trust Wally with a game, hot but, meal. Uh, but I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Ah, uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs. I wonder if I can make a. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs>
God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Can't say this has been fun. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend! <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, yeah, that sounds like Brabus. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. like you could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. Crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds, even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away, 
and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. It was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to, in case of emergency. Ah, she must have hidden it around here. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Hey. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. What? Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time, the damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Always gonna be pissed. Did it? He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? Sister failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Clementine! Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 don't do it! Don't you do it! All the 
this is so stupid. <laughs> Clementine! Ford! Shit. Where are you guys? This is all insane. Both Crystal and Ford. Better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. Together, friends!